Tim's is lined up on the weak side up against Cordy Brown. And you can see right here, Tim's eyes in the backfield. And he comes off thinking, pass. Obviously, with uh, his man backpedaling as if he's pass protecting. But he quickly adjusts and starts to work inside and immediately throws his hands into Cordy Lamb's chest. And he, uh, he knocks him off balance a little bit, as you can see right there. He's. Cordy Glenn is uh, having a hard time right there. And he just really just sheds the, the hell out of this block. Good bench press right there. And the swim move breaks right inside. And he really takes away any chance of him bouncing out right there. So Tim Williams against a really quality left tackle here is uh, basically just crashing any chance this play has to go anywhere. And then we see everyone else. Tony Jefferson right there in the backside pursuit, initiating the tackle and Tim Williams finishing the job. Maybe not finishing, but you get the point. But yeah, his his bench press and swim move here. Really impressive against a guy like Cordy Glenn. And uh, for a guy who supposedly couldn't set the edge or defend the run to save his life, I'd say Tim has stepped up quite a bit in that regard as we saw in the preseason, and as we can see here on this play. It's good run defense overall by the whole defense. Next, we have another pass rush snap, where Tim just completely obliterates this guy around the edge. I mean, good God. He just he made light work of him. He didn't even get a hand on it. Look at this. Reach. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Twice. He gets that shoulder dip. And right here, he looks like... He looks like he's bound to just lose his balance and hit the ground. But he doesn't. He, uh, he sticks with it. He stays on his feet. And he gets a hit as the ball's coming out. Now, we're very lucky that uh, Andy Dalton didn't see Giovanni Bernard there. Because a more well-rounded outside linebacker probably sniffs that out. And doesn't continue with this rush. Something that, uh, something that Matt Judon has done really well. You know, if this if this was Matt Judon, he's uh, he's killing his rush right there, and he's dropping with Gio Bernard, just making sure that there is no safety blanket. That's something uh, probably something Tim Williams is honestly better off not even doing. You know, he's he's not a coverage guy. He's clearly an edge rusher, as we can see right here. But like I said, we're, you know, we, we're lucky uh, Dalton didn't notice that because that is an easy completion for quite a big chunk right there. Because even Tony Jefferson, you can see at the bottom left is way out of position if, uh, if that ball was to go to Bernard there. But yeah, Tim Williams just making absolute light work for this guy, look at that. 
just two you know, swing and a miss from the right tackle. Tried there, tried there, and he just whiffed both times. That's great handwork from Tim Williams, which is something else he, he has always done well ever since college. Uh, got a variety of, you know, hand moves. He's real, uh, real natural with the, with the swat and, you know, keeping the arms out, keeping his distance. And, um, he's actually a guy that has struggled to stay on his feet. And he's making a, a really sharp bend like that. But, um, he's stuck with it here. And, man, he was really close to getting home. That is about one, one and a half steps away from a strip sack because he is just flying off the ball and just working that edge. And again, man, it's stuff like stuff like this that's just so frustrating because you see how great of an edge rusher Tim Williams really is pretty often. He just doesn't get his snaps, you know? Sacks are not easy to come by in the NFL. The more snaps you get this man, the more sacks he's gonna get. Get this man his snaps. Come on, Wink. The answer to our pass rush problem is staring us right in the face. <laughs>